<gasps> hey guys, uh, welcome back. This is History of Futurama Season 1, Episode uh, 5 of my show, but this is about Episode 4 of Season 1. Uh, now, since I'm... Well, no, this is... Uh, this is History of Futurama Season 1, Episode 4. Five of my show, but this is about episode uh, four of season one, and episode four is known as Love's Labor's Lost in Space, um, but since we're on episode four, that means we've got, um, let's see, five, six, seven, eight, nine, so we got about, uh, Let's see. Yeah, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, we got about four more videos uh, left, counting this one uh, before I finish the first season. I just wanted to get that out of the way, and I'm sorry if I was seeming like I was stuttering a bit when I did that part. Uh, my apologies about that. Um, but anyway, getting into the actual episode. This episode is. This is History of Futurama Season 1, Episode, um, 5 of my show, but this is about Episode, um, 4, and Episode 4 is known as Love's Labor's Lost in Space. Now, as the name of the title suggests, this is also going to introduce two other minor characters, and one other little character that is going to be uh, sort of integral to the story as it's f discovered later on in the series watching it. I, I, I just wanted to get that part, of, those parts of it out of the way. Anyway, um, the way this episode first starts off is the professor is basically um, telling the Planet Express crew that they've got to um, go to this planet, um, because it's been mined hollow and it's about to explode, and it, and then he says that it, because the planet was filled, um, with dark matter, but because of the dark matter being ho mined out of the planet, it's become hollow, basically. And then he says, he tells them about it, that it could kill the animals on the planet. And then when Leela hears about that, she says that she wants to go save them. And then uh, because of the ship and stuff with it. And, but then Farnsworth's wondering um, what she means by that because he's, uh, you know, because he's old in this series, uh, so he has a mental block. Um, so he f he forgets that he mentioned the animals, and he says that he doesn't didn't say anything about the. An he forgets that he mentioned about the animals before. But then he said that incidentally this week, you know, all the animals, and then basically after that, um, after Lila overhears the part of them having to rescue the animals before the planet explodes. Lee says that basically they'll have to gather two of each animal just like uh, just like a Noah's Ark and then Bender's curious about that he's like why two? And then basically she whispers in his ear which is about the whole I, I think reproduction thing and then Bender does a little giggle with like an adult giggle. I'm sorry about that if you hear that in the video. If I Sorry about that if you saw that part in the video there. Uh, this is a, the show I'm talking about is an adult based, so I'm just <laughs> making an adult reference sort of thing. Uh, but anyway, uh, what happens is um, um, after that they go to the planet, um, uh, but, uh, but when they go to the planet to get the animals off the planet, um, what happens is they stock all the animals on the planet, the express ship, 
um, through, um, through, uh, using a lift for it, and then they, then by that, what, then after that, what happens is Leela comes across this little, uh, little diminutive creature thing, and, and that diminutive creature is the creature known as Nibbler. He's a, basically a Nibblunian. I'll explain more about them later. I just wanted to... I'll explain more about them later when it gets to the episode uh, where it explains more about them. I just wanted to bring that one up. Uh, the only reason I didn't... Um, I mentioned Nibbler in the character bio, but I didn't mention how his race... Uh, was formed. I might do that for the character bio from one of the later seasons because I know there's a season that has to do with the brain spawn and they use a stupid faction thing to make everyone on earth stupid. I know that much. Um, but I'll save explaining about Nibbler's species um, uh, for the later season with the brains and stuff. But anyway, after that, what happens is, um, Leela loads all the animals that, with, oh, Leela, Fry, and, and Bender load all the animals and Nibbler onto the ship, um, but what happens is, Afterward, when they leave, uh, Leela goes to check on the animals. Um, afterward, but then, uh, she sees that they're not there anymore. That's because Nibbler basically ate all of them. And, um, what happens is after that, um, he basically craps out this, um, uh, round orb, which is like a form of dark matter, and then they see that, and then, um, and then, well, first what actually, uh, um, happens, uh, uh, is, that's, while they leave, after they leave the, the planet and stuff, and they go to put the dark matter that Nibbler has put into their engine f that he crapped out to, f to use for their ship in order to get away from the planet before it ex explodes. Um, actually, but uh, just backtracking here, uh, this, like I said, this episode is introduces two other main characters um uh the first one is uh Seth Brannigan and then basically um what happens is um when they see the Nimbus Lee was astounded by that and then she told them about uh Seth Brannigan killing a horde kill bots and stuff and then Basically, she basically links up, uh, she has her ship link up with his in order to try to save the animals of that planet from dying. Um, I'm sorry if it seems like I'm backtracking here. I'm, I'm, I sort of skipped ahead with that part, I'm sorry. Uh, but the part with the animals, um, uh, but anyway... Continuing on with what I was saying earlier, um, uh, Leela then goes to the ship to ask Renegan for their help, but then afterwards, they, after Renegan doesn't decide to help, they decide to leave, but then Renegan and his forces detain Fry, Vendor, and Leela, but then after that, what happens is, um, Um, after having Fry Vendor and Leela locked up in a, uh, sort of like an electronic prison cell, 
Um, electronic prison cell. Um, Zap tells um, Kiff that he wants to talk to Leela in private. So have so have him. So he wants him to bring her over to his quarters and stuff. And then basically after that, Kiff let. Um, <laughs> Kip lets uh, uh, Leela out of the prison cell, but keeps uh, Bender and Fry still locked up in that electronic prison cell. And he's like, I think he's with Ditty Uni's quarters. And then basically she thinks that this is a good thing because this is her chance to talk with him, Captain to Captain. And then, um, basically, um, Kiff mentions that he, he says that Zeph also wants her to wear that, which is a, sort of like a sex outfit, oh, which is, uh, I'm sorry if it seems like I'm doing something like that, I'm sorry. But anyway, um, and then they basically, they have a romantic evening on the bed, and then after... Um, Zap tries to tell a little bit of a song story about being lonely, and then, and then after some time, Fry gets worried about Leela that she's been gone a long time, and she, <laughs> he hopes that she was able to settle things that, with Zap Frank, and then basically what happens is, um, and it goes into the scene where it is, um, where they're in the bed, and then it, they wake up, and then basically, in the next scene, Leela tries to leave, but, but, but as she's about to leave, um, Zap wakes up, and then she <laughs> said that last night was a mistake, but then, Zap kind of gets aroused by saying it was a mistake, and then basically she said that it was just a mistake for one moment. Her sense of reasoning was overwhelmed by it and stuff, and then basically then she decides to leave, and then basically Zap says that she'll come back, and then basically what happens is after that, um, Leela Fry and Bender leave the Nimbus, which is, uh, Zap's ship, and, um, basically what happens is they're wondering, um, uh, what happened between Leela and Zap running in that, because of all the time that she was uh, gone and stuff, and then they managed to go back to the ship, and then, uh, basically, um, Zap tells um, Kip that he made it with a woman, and um, basically to t to inform the other male um, crew members of that, and then basically um, and then basically what happens is. Um, While they're trying to get away from the planet before it explodes, uh, what happens is they, um, start running into this, uh, Leela and Fry and Vendor try to get away from the planet before it explodes, um, uh, because, as, you know, because of the mining thing, it made the planet hollow, which caused it to explode, and then basically, um, so that's why they had to get away from the planet before it went kaboom. And speaking of, if you guys remember, I mentioned about the animals that they loaded onto their ship before they left. Uh, when they loaded them on, they were on there, but after they loaded them, they weren't on there anymore. That's because Nibbler actually ate them. Oh my god, I'm sorry. It's just, oh my. Anyway, he ate them whole, so he was the only animal left on the ship. Uh, and then basically what happens is, 
after that, um, I, I was just backtracking to that part, but anyway, after, um, they, uh, get caught in something that causes them to, um, almost get destroyed, and Brian Bender and warning Mueller to call Zap for help, but then she's saying that she doesn't want to, and then Bender says that what's the big deal? It's not like she slept with him, and then basically that that's when he figures it out that he she did sleep with him and stuff, and then uh, basically after some, they're actually surprised by that, and then basically after that, um, after they convince her to call him, uh, she does, and then basically he gets ecstatic about them calling, about her calling him to help her escape, and then basically what happens is by the time he helps them to escape, they then realize that's when Nibbler, um, Crabs out this round uh, black ball, which is basically the dark matter uh, that was filled with, and then basically um, uh, Bender wonders that th that thing crabs out. He's, he says about that about the nib nibbler crapping out the that black orb, and then basically. Um, Leela says that his species must have filled the whole planet with it. And then basically what happens is, so they decide to use <laughs> that one, uh, spear in order to get away from the blast. Because basically after some, after talking with Zach, she hung up on him and decided to get herself and her friends out of it because of it without without his help so basically Leela has Bender drag the uh, dark matter orb over to their engines and put it in there in order to uh, charge up the ship so that they can get away from the planet before it explodes and then basically uh, and when when the ship is charged up enough because of the dark matter orb, they manage to get away from the ship, uh, from the planet, and, but, uh, Zap is, uh, he's not really disappointed that Leela left, it's more like he's, um, anxious that she'll return to him, which is, uh, kind of thing, and it's stupid. Now, just the funny thing I'm gonna mention with Kiff, uh, he, he's, he's the alien character I mentioned in the character bio, uh, video, the green one. Um, I just want to mention something about him. He will have a sort of like a, in the series, a sort of romantic, uh, relationship with another member of the Planet Express group. I'm not going to explain who until I get to, um... Sometime next season or in season three, I think. But I just wanted to bring that up for now since I mentioned it. Anyway, um, basically, Fry, Leela, and Bender take um, the little uh, round black alien uh, that's like a diminutive of ape, which they, which Leela names Nibbler, back to Planet Express to keep as, like, a pet. And, uh, technically, that planet that Nibbler was on was technically his home planet, sort of. Um, but it wasn't actually. I guess it, you could kind of consider it to be, uh, because it's explained by one of the elder Nibblunians, um... I'll explain more about that when it gets to the segment with the brain spawn uh, in the later seasons, but I just wanted to get that out of the way. Uh, but anyway, that's basically going to be it for this video, guys. Um, so if you guys like this video when I post it, just please uh, give this video the best you guys can, and I will see you guys uh, next time for the next video, and I apologize if this video is relatively short, but until then... um.
Like I always tell you with this series, fun on a bun.